Hi, welcome back. I hope you're having a great early November 2020. I want to talk to you today about Bloom Energy. The ticker symbol is BE. What is Bloom Energy? Well, Bloom Energy manufactures fuel cells that the company or um, government service or you name it, a gas station or a hospital can keep on site to provide 24-7 power. Now, that doesn't mean that this particular fuel cell is generating your power all the time. But what it does mean is that when the power goes out, this system can kick in to keep your company operational. What's special about this fuel cell? Well, it takes uh, ambient air and natural gas or biogas like methane from cows, uh, etc. It takes this uh, gas source and using a uh, heat system and this uh, anode and cathode and the electrolytes that they have in their fuel cell, it generates uh, carbon dioxide and water plus electricity that your company then can use to stay online when other people are uh, out of business while they wait for the power company to restore power. Now in this day and age when people are concerned about global warming, you may be thinking, hey, if it's producing CO2, how is this helpful? Well, the nice thing about this is that it produces about 50% less carbon dioxide than the traditional power sources that we currently use. So what do some of those traditional power sources look like? Well, you can see here 90% of it is coming from uh, burning natural gas or coal or uh, petroleum coke or petroleum liquids. Some of it's also coming, of course, from hydroelectric and uh, nuclear power. Only 10% is coming from about solar and wind. If you look at this picture here on the right, you can see what a typical uh, solar panel farm looks like and how much space it takes up. Now look at this tiny little box here essentially in the lower left corner of that picture and you can see what the Bloom Energy fuel cell footprint looks like. They say 12,500% more space for the solar than for Bloom to generate a similar amount of electricity. Now this technology is already uh, being accepted by important companies. You can see here that they show that 25 of the Fortune 100 companies are already using this technology and 42 of the Fortune 500 companies. This gives you an example of how their fuel cells come into play when the power goes out. You can see here 5.5 uh, days for a manufacturing facility in California um, during uh, public safety power shutoffs and five days for a retail store in New York uh, during a utility equipment failure, etc. Their microgrid fuel cells can pl provide 100% of the power needed for local schools or libraries or senior centers or health centers and keep the power on at a gas station when the electricity goes out. How did this company come about? Well, uh, in the early 2000s, how did this company come about? Well, in the early 2000s, their founders were working on a project at NASA to create fuel out of the gases that are naturally available on Mars. And once they had uh, solved this problem, they realized that they had something on their hands to be able to generate electricity here on Earth. They uh, founded their company, and initially it was founded through um, venture capitalism public in 2018 with their IPO. You can see here if we go back to 2018 when they uh, started their public offering their stock was trading at about $22.60 a share and then you see that nice uh, sort of increase after their IPO followed by this slow and steady decline but you'll notice that um, in 2020 this has slowly been on the rise. It took a rather drastic drop here near the um, between the end of October and uh, the beginning of uh, November where it was 22 almost $23 a share on October 9th and then um, down to uh, $12 a share on October 30th it's come up just a little bit since then that may have something to do with the uh, recent election and depending on who becomes the president uh, I could see that this stock price uh, may change significantly. I like to see how the company is doing financially when I'm debating uh, whether to buy a stock or not. 
I shouldn't say always because uh, sometimes I get caught up in the hype of stocks too. But this company, you can see here, ending September 30th of 2019 versus 2020, uh, their revenue, this is in thousands, so this would be $131 million. Uh, You may be looking at this and saying, well, they did $163 million in 2019. That's not so great. There's always uh, various factors uh, that play into this kind of thing, especially with COVID-19 pandemic going on. But what I'm encouraged by is coming down here to the net loss uh, the bottom line, and we can see that they were losing $56 million um, the same time last year, and they brought that down to roughly $18 million. I, I see that as significant improvement um, to their bottom line and how their uh, company is running and their efficiency. So I'm encouraged by this. Yeah, they're still losing money, but uh, as I've said before, a lot of these newer companies that I think are worth investing in, they're going to be losing money to start with. And, and this can be a great time to get in. That's all I have for you today on Bloom Energy. I've given you uh, some information about what the company does, how it was founded, showed you how their stock price is doing, and we covered some of their financials. I have purchased some of this stock. I'm encouraged by it. I'm hopeful that not only will the company do well and uh, improve its bottom line, but that this technology will be helpful for our country and for our planet until something better comes along, which I think we, uh, as humans, always do. We're improving on things, and I hope you're excited about it as well. Talk to you later.